It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. All right, folks, we said it. Not one, not two, not three. It's four. Pacquiao Marquez at the MGM Grand Garden Saturday night. We brought our big shooters out. Ludomico, Rich Rose to talk about this bout. And the money's coming in on the dog. This one opened 330. Pacquiao favored. Let's call the consensus now, Lou. Minus 250. How low does this number get? Brian, it would not surprise me to even go a little bit lower. But I think it's probably getting close to being the right number. I can see maybe minus 240, minus 230, but you'll see some sharp money coming in at that price. Let's just talk history, Rich. We've had trilogies in the past. These guys are going after it four time. Anybody beat, uh, beat that number? Yeah, there was a guy by the name of uh, Sugar Ray Robinson who fought Jake LaMotta not once, twice, three, four, but five times. And in that, uh, in that span, two of those fights took place within three weeks of each other, which never happens uh, nowadays. But these guys know each other so well. They fought 36 rounds, uh, two very, very close decisions for Pacquiao, and one draw. So, you know, these guys are out there, and the same thing could happen. Or if one guy wants to take it to the other, maybe there's a knockout. That's what's going to be really the deciding factor. Lou, there's a constant that goes along with the trilogy heading into number four, and that's Pacquiao starts fast, but he can't put Marquez away, and then Marquez is a beast at the end. That's the way it's been going, Brian, for, the, of course, the last three fights. Pacquiao starts very, very fast. Knocks down Marquez a few times, and we've seen that, but Marquez has a chin that it's like granite. Pacquiao has the same thing. These two fighters know each other very, very well. But, Brian, I want to make a point here. This is not the fight the whole world wanted to see. But it still should be a very, very good and exciting fight. And anything can happen in this fight. Well, we're getting these guys not two cents, 50 cents. We'll see if 50 cents can make the fight everybody wants to see. Styles make fights, Rich Rose. There's no question about that, Brian. And as Lou said, Marquez has a chin of granite, and he's there. Pacquiao is the bigger man, although this time what's going to be interesting in the ring, Marquez has bulked up for strength. He's added the weight as opposed to when he fought Floyd Mayweather. He really put it on just to be able to, to step on the scale at uh, 142 pounds. So it'll be interesting to see, does that slow him down anymore? Does it give him a little added power? Because at the end, in his last several fights, Pacquiao has not been the same guy really since 2009 when he fought and defeated uh, uh, Miguel Cotto by TKO. So if Marquez is able to carry that strength and that weight throughout the 12 rounds or less, that may be the difference in the fight. There will be all kinds of props that will be put on the board as we get closer to the fight. But one number that's out right now is, will the fight go 10 and a half rounds? And it's, yes, minus 270. Yes is the favorite, Brian, and there's really no reason to say it won't go to distance because, like we said before, these fighters know each other very, very well. Styles make fights. They've already boxed 36 rounds already. They know each other very, very good and very well, and it'll probably go to distance again, but people don't want to see that. And finally, Rich, just let me just ask you, Freddie Roach, he, the, it's been a better roses for Freddie Roach for the last five, six, seven years. He's lost three big fights in a row. Do you put any stock in that? No, I don't. I, I think each fight is its own kind of self-contained element. And uh, whatever happened that particular night, a lot of people will tell you, most people will tell you, that Pacquiao easily won the Bradley fight. It wasn't even close. I mean, they had it, it was 115, 113 for Bradley. Most people had it 117, 111 maybe, or even 118, 110 in favor of Pacquiao. So I don't look at that. I, I don't look at Freddie being on a losing streak because Freddie uh, learned at the, at the feet of, uh, of Eddie Futch, one of the great all-time trainers in boxing. He knows that you have defeats mixed in with victories. He's looking at this fight. He's got his battle plan. He's fighting a guy with a tough style for his fighter, but he's going to go out there with the game plan to win, and we'll see what happens Saturday night. Hey, we, we got to go. Our producer, Marty Corwin, usually he throws stuff at me and tells me when to shut up. But when we're talking boxing, he gives me a little bit of leeway. I want to throw a happy happy birthday wish out there, right? 
Mr. Bob Arum will be 81 years young on Saturday night, and we kind of know who he's rooting for. Put your dukes up. Yeah, it's going to be something special. The fourth go round, it is Pacquiao and Marquez. We'll recap it for you next week right here. The Line Makers on Sporting News.